man, you're owing to, and you're going to get testy with the reporters. You're oh, it's two games in. How do you think the mood of the locker room is, Jeff? How do you think it is, Jeff? Dude, this is the L.A. media. Imagine in Boston, Philadelphia, New York. How do you think it is, Jeff? What do you think it is? Uh, oh, uh, oh. Brandon Staley's not wrong when he says, look, we just lost two tough games. Those are two good teams. He's not wrong. They lost to the Dolphins as Tua and the offense exploded down the stretch. And look, the Dolphins could end up in a Super Bowl. The Dolphins could end up in an AFC championship game. Losing to the Dolphins, no no shame in that. And then you go on the road and you get pulled to overtime with the Titans. And Tennessee makes one or two plays more than you do. And you lose in OT on a field goal. And that's not a terrible loss. You didn't get blown out. It wasn't like you didn't have energy. You know, you lose it overtime. And probably the Titans and the Chargers are pretty close to one another. Squads that could be 10 and 7 or so, and probably wild card exit in the playoffs. The, the type of teams that these both are. But the uh oh is because. Look at the talent the Chargers have yet again. And look at how Brandon Staley is already fraying. The question mark about Jacksonville. Okay, maybe Staley feels like it's unfair. Because for them, how much work ago is that? How much practice ago is that? How many months ago is that? That happens in January. It's now September. You're like, my life is completely changed if you're Brandon Staley. We've had a draft. We've had free agency. We've had rookie camps. We've had mini camps. We've had OTAs. We've had seven on sevens. We've had no shell drill, drills. We've had shell drills. We've had full scrimmage. We've had full pads. We've had a preseason. We've had ones working together. We have two full football games that actually matter. We've had practices in between. Nothing connects to back then, guys, and that's Brandis Daly's reality. For us, we look at the bigger picture and say, you collapsed in the playoffs, and you haven't won since. Since halftime of the wild card game against Jacksonville, you haven't won since. So is there a connection? And... I don't think Brandis Staley is the biggest chump in the world. But I also don't think he's a great coach. And I think for this Chargers team that has been seeking desperately the right combination and mix of quarterback and coach and playoff success for a long, long time, it just feels like more of the same. That the Chargers always lose these types of games. The overtime in Tennessee. The one stop away week one against the Dolphins. The choke in the playoffs against the Jaguars. The Chargers are never on the other end of those wins. That's how it's always felt. That they're always the one that has the football pulled away from them. They're never on the other end of the crazy comeback and a win to move on. They're never on the last second shootout and they they end up winning that football game. We had, you know, the Basaccia tie. Both teams are in a couple of years ago against the Raiders. That didn't go their way. They had the collapse against the Jaguars last year that didn't go their way. They have two tough losses to begin this season that doesn't go their way. And that's just a Brandon, that's just under Brandon Staley. That also is basically the entirety of the Phillip Rivers experience. How many times did Phillip Rivers get to the playoffs only to have a gag in the playoffs? And Chargers fans can go back to Dan Fouts and the early Drew Brees. How about 14-2 and two with Marty Schottenheimer, the best record of the AFC? They're one and done because Marlon McCree picks off Tom Brady and instead of taking a knee to ice the game, tries to return it meaninglessly, only to fumble it, recovered by the Patriots, and now suddenly the Pats have life again, and of course the Chargers lose that way. It's like... Every time they have another talented team with expectations, 
something falters. And it's hard not to feel the same way about this team. Now, they've got two very winnable games coming up here at Minnesota, home to the Raiders. Let's face it, you got to go two and two. After that, you get the Cowboys and the Chiefs. If you do anything less than two and two, the season the season's probably over. If you're 0 and four and then have Cowboys Chiefs, game set match. If you're one and three and then Cowboys Chiefs, it might be game set match. You basically have to be two and two to keep your head above water, which makes these two losses so brutal. You're right there. You're a possession or a play away, and you couldn't close either one of them. 